Hello everybody, my name is Lorena. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be discussing how to save a lot of money by taking your own engagement photos. Congrats, you're engaged, probably. And uh, you are looking to get your photos done with your fiance. These are nice memories that you wanna have for the rest of your life. The thing is, is that we're in COVID and we don't have all the money in the world right now. We didn't want anything too fancy. It was probably gonna happen within our home, on our roof and our balcony, and we didn't really need much else. We just used the resources that we already had, like a tripod that I'm using right now, my iPhone, and random props using our environment. It just so happened to work. Here are some photos and how they came out. We are really happy with them. We got over a hundred photos we took that day and we brought them all the way down to 20. So it was a very successful shoot and I'm really proud of how these photos turned out. I honestly did not think that they were gonna come out this good. So props to iPhone because the quality, I must say, very, very good. The first thing I will say is when you're beginning to plan for taking your own photos is to prep the shoot. After you figure out what kind of camera you want to use, make sure that you have the proper stand or aka tripod to hold your camera still. This is important because you want to make sure that the photos are balanced and they look like someone is behind the camera. I did have one hand hiding most of the photos because I did have a remote in one of them. It turned out fine and it doesn't really look like I am holding a remote. The key is also to make sure that if you are taking photos on your phone that you have enough space. When you do a a photo shoot I've noticed that the more photos you take the more a chance you get of getting that shot so you want to be able to constantly click on the remote and get as many candid shots as you can so make sure that you have enough space you don't want to be pretending to take these photos and then you look at your storage and it's like oops sorry none of them were captured that is not a fun time please please make sure to check your storage a small tip in this area prep work i would say is to watch some videos there are many youtube videos of gracious photographers showing how they style shoots how they prepare and prep their models for the day. Pick up as much as information as you can before the shoot so that you understand what vibe you're going for, what kind of shots you want to have. Just have fun discovering something new. You know, if all goes wrong with these photos, at least you had a fun time, hopefully, with your fiance. The next thing I wanna bring up is that you wanna pick outfits. Outfits are a main part of the photo shoot. So you want to make sure that you and your fiance are coordinating in some way. When picking an outfit, you want to make sure that it's something that's comfortable for you and your fiance. You don't feel too stiff because when you don't feel comfortable in your clothes, it will be very easy to translate that within the photos. So just make sure to find something that you really like, that is something that you may usually wear somewhere and makes you feel confident and sexy. You should not be afraid to accessorize if you wanna wear a hat, wanna wear big earrings, necklaces. Anything that helps bring some movement to the shoot will help the photos. If you wanna bring a bag, Hey, even your pets, they are a great addition to photos. Next, you wanna make sure that you choose the locations of where you want to take these photos. For us, we knew that we wanted to take them on our roof and within our apartment. So it was very easy to access these places. If you want more of an outdoor style shoot, make sure to find a space that you are able to access to get these photos. If it's a public park, make sure that it's a place where you have enough space so that people aren't walking in and out of your photos. Photoshopping them out will be a pain. Find a spot where it looks like it's just only you two, nobody else. 
A couple of my favorite shots from our shoot was actually on our couch. I thought it would be fun to have something more laid back and we just sat on our couch and just took a couple photos. It was very easy for us. We spend a lot of time on this couch, so why not um, include those in our memories? Up next, I would say is that you wanna make sure that you pick a time of day according to the style of your shoot. For us, we knew that we wanted something more in the afternoon for sunset. Make sure to check the time of when the sun is going down so you can prep everything and have it ready to go just at the right time so that you catch the sunset. If you are taking your photos in the summer and it's 12 o'clock noon, you may have a hot and sweaty shoot. So keep that in mind when you are choosing a time. Okay, and lastly, what I will say is that you should be having fun. I never thought that I would be taking my own engagement photos with my fiance, but we are again so happy with how they turned out. In this case, we just found that it was it worked perfectly for us and we were able to do it and we were able to pull it off. At the end of the day, engagement photos, they're capturing a very fun and exciting time in your life. So whatever means you have to secure these photos, I would say go for it. Hi, Lorena here from the future editing. I realized that I did not say goodbye or close this video. Whoops. So um, I hope some of these uh, tips help you if you are looking to take your own engagement photos or for a matter of fact, any type of photo shoot that you are doing with yourself, your family, whatever it may be, uh, try these things out and let me know how it goes. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can kindly subscribe, hit the like button and comment, I would greatly appreciate it. I will be back next Wednesday with another video. See you then. Bye.